Welcome back to Virginia. We're here on Wednesday. We're back in Halperin's office. Door closed, all alone. Creepy sounds, probably a dream or a vision or something of the sort. Hmm. Hospital noises. Oh. Lucas missing. Special Agent Anne Tarver. I was wondering exactly what my name was. I think we briefly saw it, but I forgot it. Looking up Halperin. Why? Additional information. Records transferred from previous file. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna look up the other name. Ortega? Information not in database. Please refer to the records department. Commending one of our own, Distinguished Special Agent Judith Ortega, one of the Bureau's intake of go-getting female agents, was today awarded the FBI Medal for Meritorious Achievement for her extraordinary work cracking the Holliston Lidecker case. During her time with the FBI, the plucky young wife and mother of one has set a high watermark amongst her lady contemporaries. This reporter feels Mrs. Ortega is fast establishing herself as a role model for law-abiding colored women everywhere. 
Mr. Albert Ortega said he saw his moral influence reflected in his wife's achievement. Director Hoover was not in attendance, but is said to be encouraged by the work of the Bureau at large. So it says at the top there, this is back in 1968. So Judith, Judith Ortega must be Maria Ortega's mother, right? So they're mother of one. So yeah, Maria Ortega must be their daughter. And then later their last name changed to Halperin. So I guess that's comment number one. Comment number two, fuck you Mr. Albert Ortega for taking um, credit for his wife's work. Said he saw his moral influence reflected in his wife's achievement. Asshole. United States Government Memorandum to FBI Director, confidential from Office of Internal Affairs, probably? Uh, subject the Ortega... something. Ortega... woman? Um, Edgar, further to our something something, I am writing regarding new information reaching me through back channels concerning the aforementioned Special Agent Ortega. The Ortega woman continues to make wild allegations regarding conspiracy and supposed breaches of the ethical guidelines, and I am concerned how her spurious findings might be interpreted were they to reach the public at large. Your reputation, mine, and that of the Bureau must be safeguarded. Cord understands this, and I value his cooperation in this sensitive matter. It's common knowledge internally that, whilst sanctioned by applied sciences, Ortega has a predilection for unconventional methods. I feel this could be turned to our advantage were deniability to be an issue. Have taken your recommended steps to suppress this activity and divert Agent Ortega's inquisitiveness into more productive avenues. But if this woman's overenthusiastic behavior persists, we shall be forced to take additional measures. Christ, these people really are sexist assholes, huh? I mean, they keep referring to Judith Ortega as the Ortega woman <laughs> instead of their actual, like, name. Also, it looks like Cord is in on the whole thing. So I guess Judith Ortega was gonna perhaps make them look bad, they thought, and wanted to discredit them. And I guess because it seems I received a file on... Um, on Maria Halperin, or Ortega. That maybe they're trying to do a similar thing with their daughter, or maybe the daughter's learning some stuff about their mother that they don't want uh, Maria Halperin to uncover. All information contained herein is classified. Under suspicion of gross misconduct, misuse of FBI laboratory property, breach of the ethical standards regarding prohibited use of controlled substances. Mm, probably insubordination. Special Agent Judith that has been the subject of a covert just internal affairs, no less than something months. Findings of this investigation are that Judith Ortega should face charges on all counts. She should be suspended immediately without pay. Special agent status should be revoked indefinitely pending a formal tribunal. Five copies made for the Bureau, one for Quantico. Report made by... Is that Cord McCarran? C. McCarran? I think Cord's last name was McCarran. And this was in 1972, December 7th, 1972. Investigation period is from 06 to 11. So, five months.
<laughs> what is that, the mayoral candidate or something? It's odd, though, that they're showing me this flashback to something that happened just a tiny bit ago, and I very clearly remember. A little bit odd, it's like I didn't really need that. I think I saw that criticism in the review that I read of this game, too. That despite being quite difficult to understand and mysterious, it sometimes shows you flash flashbacks to things that aren't hard to understand or mysterious. I think that might be one of them. Uh, hi. This is... <laughs> I took it. Guess it's gonna be back in my apartment. Hey, you paid this time. Good. Bye. Oh, is that our next lead? Dominion Construction? There's the hat I found. I see the observatory over there to the left. I guess we're going to the observatory. Another flower to pick? I love that I can keep picking flowers. Very odd, though, that it's growing inside. Is this place not kept up? It doesn't exactly look abandoned. Couple weirdly loose floorboards, though. Well, can't go up it. Lucas's father with Donna. Going back to ask him about it? giving me the evidence, so... <laughs> so if we get caught, then I, I take the fall. Explore another room? Doesn't seem to be anything in here I can do anything with. Okay. I want to go back to Lucas's dark room if I can. No, I can't. 
Oh, I didn't miss anything in there. I do have to go to this far door. The one that I saw the red behind before. Well, it's got red curtains. That's about it, though. It's the office. Oh, some guns. A lot of guns. Six? Here's the roadhouse. What are you doing? Taking it off? Or... Cover someone single? Maybe? Oh my god. <laughs> this could not more clearly be a Twin Peaks reference. Not only is it called the Roadhouse, I mean, look who's performing. That is exactly how the Roadhouse the Roadhouse songs go. Still can't get over how beautiful this game is. But also, what the heck just happened here? So we went to a bar and Maria um, Halperin gave me the ring. I sat down to watch them play music. And then I opened up a box that has the dead bird in it. And then we partied in the end of the day? Like, what? 
What the hell's real and what's not? Is there a padlock on that door? Where am I? Who am I? Oh, am I? I think I'm playing as Maria. That is quite some security. Oh, it's so cool, you can hear the city noises. Traffic. That is a lot of books. That is an incredible number of books. Huge record collection, too. Is this whole place Maria's place? It's huge. This must be a house, right? I mean, there's no way this is an apartment. Not with multiple floors. I mean, Maria did have a ring and their name obviously had changed to Halprin, so I guess they're maybe still married? Birdfeather. Little dollhouse. This must be the storage room. Although, by the look of it... I or someone sometimes sleeps here? High heels? Hair dryer? Is this my bedroom? Did we just move in here or packing up or or what? There's so many boxes. Yeah, so hold on. What's up here? This is not the bedroom, right? This is the living room? Yeah, we're just on the couch. Hmm. What is this for? Hospital bed, wheelchair. Perhaps Maria's mother? Uh, a bunch of cards, probably like get well soon and stuff like that.
Wait. You're Halprin, aren't you? Who am I? I forgot the main, the other agent's name. Not Maria, but the, you know, the one you're usually playing as. Am I them and I just stayed over after partying, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> it's I think it's because the faces and everything are so not detailed, it's kind of hard to tell. I, yeah, I guess I'm just the other agent. That would make more sense. Let's have breakfast. What does that show exactly? I know it's the priest, but who's the other person? Is that Donna? Do we just stare at each other now? <laughs> what do I do? What the? Why do I keep finding bird feathers? It's creepy. to go. Pretty sure he was with Donna. I think that's who they're, who they're interviewing in there. Yep.
Let's see, what does it say? Field report Monday. Visited Fairfax residence, Kingdom, Virginia, as part of an investigation into missing persons case. Um, Halpern led the questioning of the Fairfax parents, also attending with Sheriff Taft of Burgess County Sheriff's Department and several deputies. Details of this visit can be found in the associated case file. Left the Fairfax property early evening. The unusual encounter on the road back to Quantico involving Buffalo. Not pertinent to the case. <laughs> Opportunity to investigate Halpern's belongings. Did not reveal in immediately suspicious items. So yeah, I am tasked with, I guess, seeing if Halpern follows after their mother. Tuesday. Potential line of investigation involving personal items belonging to Halpern, a small locket depicting a figure. Will attempt to establish the identity of this individual assumed to be a relative, possibly parent or grandparent. Evidence obtained at the Fairfax resident led myself and Agent Halpern to a query local to Kingdom. Continued over page. Ann Tarver, that's my name right. Next page. At the behest of the Assistant Director's Office, Special Agent Maria Halper... Oh. I'm never going to get to read that, but I guess it doesn't matter. We kind of know what it says. Investigate them. It's going to be awkward if and when Halpern discovers I'm kind of investigating her. I didn't mean to take that sandwich, I, I just <laughs> switched times. I guess we're doing a stakeout. Huh. What do you think about that? Mayor Dewey trying to get votes. Observatory. Jesus Christ, you pulled up like right to them so fast. Looks like you're going to run them over. Still not allowed inside, even FBI? Thanks for the stuffed buffalo. Thanks for the stuffalo. Well, that happened sooner than I thought it would. <clears throat>
There's my stuffalo. Gonna go try to get that locket. More flowers. Such fluffy, fluffy grass. my way over the fence. Just make sure I didn't miss any flowers. Sounds like it's going to collapse. Ooh. I seriously am in love with this grass. Oh, hello. The flowers are so strange. It feels like a bizarrely gamey element. They feel like collectibles. I mean, if you picked like one or two flowers, it feels just like a cool little kind of personal touch where you can just grab something and then you see it back in your apartment. And it's like, oh, that's neat. But the fact that they keep appearing makes it feel like weirdly gamey and like collectibles. Because I don't feel like they have any significance to the story. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. Oh, those walking sounds.
a little bit odd that it got all the way over here, don't you think? See that there. I think I'm going to Maria's apartment right now. Apartment. So it is an apartment? Oh, it's the mother's old apartment, I guess. Or, no. No, this is the apartment. It's a multi-floor apartment? This is the strangest apartment I've ever seen. Huh. I thought, like, this was the front door. If that's not the front door, then what the hell is that door? must be Judith Ortega's unconventional methods that were mentioned. Who's that?
Is this the water tower? Hey. Look at this view. Yes, I remember that. Mm hmm. Why does. Why did Maria have it? What? I don't. <laughs> I don't understand. Final day. The fuck? <laughs> Disappointed in me, I guess. Oh, there's my feathers. Well, looks like each one's identified with the uh, bird it came from. Anyway, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to answer that door.